Hi, it's Sharon. How is everybody? I'm good here at Be Divine Vintage. I've been starting to get together a few little Christmas bits and bobs. I know we've been doing Christmas in July. I've just about scraped in with something and more looking at Christmas in August now. Um, time is creeping up. I tell you something, I'll be glad when it's New Year's Eve and I could say goodbye to 2023. It's just been one of those years for me. Um, right, so what have I been doing? I've been making these tags. I thought I'd show you how I made the initial tag and then just finish it off with you. Can you see? Let me just stand up. The duck's behind me. Can you see the raised? Oh, you can see them there, like little circles. Well, that is done with the uh, Tim Holtz Distress Texture Paste Translucent. I was absolutely amazed. I love it. When it goes on, it's white. I thought, hmm, that will never dry clear. But it did. And then there was one that I mixed. I mixed the texture paste with some green. Mixed it with the with a gl green glimmer mist. And this one, yes, has gone green. So you can see the circles on that one. But can you see how, they like, how shiny they are as well? Really pretty. So I'll show you how I made up to this stage. And then we can decorate those. So, first of all, I um, got some bits and pieces together. Um, I got some of these. Uh, these are vintage Victorian style die cuts. I got some, there's a, some more there. I got some um, bits and pieces of the Tim Holtz from the Christmas collection. Got those. Um, I got some some of these, which I've cut out from. Let me show you the classic collection, classic Christmas words and phrases, uh, created by, made, designed and created by Happiness and Crafting. So I've cut out some of those. There's some beautiful papers in here. I really love them. I'm going to be doing lots more with them. So I've got my bits and pieces out ready to collage with. I got some... I don't know. Paper. So this is actually onion stained paper. But I got out a collection. I've got onion stained... I have got some coffee stained as well. I thought those were, were just that little pink, sort of pinky yellow. So I thought, oh, I'd use those. And this is what it looks like dried on there. So all I basically did is got my piece of paper, got my Mod Podge. Ooh, it's just gone a bit everywhere. Just wipe that up. I had an incident with the Mod Podge. Major incident. I've changed my paper underneath my, on my work surface. Got a messy mat out because I uh, knocked my Mod Podge over and it went absolutely. Well, it was everywhere. It was like a Mod Podge disaster. Right, so, oops, let me get something else that I need. I got um, some, these are Christmas carols, and the vintage ones that I've reprinted onto, let's move that, that I've reprinted them onto, um, this is my parchment paper. That one's a aubergine stained, not aubergine, avocado stained, I mean. So I've got some of this and need the music for the music. Keep all the bits, don't throw all the bits away. Let's just tear some of these. Just 
been asleep. I went to work this morning. I was absolutely shattered when I came on. And I'm off on some medication at the do from the doctor and it's just zonking me out. So I, I lay on the bed just to have a cup of tea and next thing I knew, it was like two hours later. So I'm just tearing myself in pieces. You can use any um, music paper that you've got there or just printed book pages or it, it just as good. Anything just to give yourself a nice collage pattern. So I'll just put some down. Mod Podge over the top. And this Mod Podge will dry clear. This is my own made Mod Podge. And then I got the bits and pieces and I just sort of put them on. Um, it's quite nice. That's like a negative off a, one of those Tim Holtz, off, off this, but looks quite nice there. Yeah, and then just glue your bits and pieces on. That would have gone better under there. Whoop, I keep trying to keep my music all the, all the same way up. That's upside down. So this is just, just for your background, but it's nice to have a nice background. Because if you do all your layers nice, then ultimately you get a nice result, don't you? This is one of the GI Care ones. The other day I saw, I was watching um, Shabby Dabby Doo Band. She had a Mod Podge in a little pot like that, actually, the lid like this. And I thought, oh, I couldn't work from a little pot. But now I know why, after my mass disaster. With, with the Mod Podge spilling over. It was all over the floor, it was all over the desk. It was all over me. I just didn't know where to start, you know, to put it right. So I thought, just take your paper up and do it again. So I did. It's quite nice to have a lovely new white surface to work on. nice to put all the things around you and then you can um, have a look and pick out rather than having to keep getting up and having a look around the room. So I've got all my Christmas things out. I commandeered a little coffee table and I put Christmas things on that and in the box at the side of it. So this is out of the middle of there. So now I don't have to put that on. Yeah. Yes, we will. Oh, I did some little fussy cuts as well from things that I had. You know, things that I had in the Christmas stash. Can you see this? Let's just move it up a bit. Stay. Of course, when you cut it, it doesn't really look anything like this because it, it uh, changes quite considerably. And, oh, and you, oh, I've got a little tiny post mark. In fact, I could put that in the middle of that. Let's have a look. What else do I fancy on there? Uh, But no, if I put special delivery words on, as nice as they are, once it gets covered, you probably won't see them. I've got a little boot. Let's put a little, little boot there. 
I printed loads of each page off, so I've got um, plenty to go at. So I'm going to try to... Last year I didn't do anything Christmassy. I didn't open the Christmas box, nothing Christmassy. But this year I want to uh, make a special effort. But the more I plan, then the less it comes into fruition because, honestly, and I don't know if I've got a chip on my shoulder or what, but basically, if it can go wrong, then it's gone wrong for me this year. <laughs> and I'll send like a harbinger of doom. Right, so you do that, put them on, and then just leave that to dry. That looks like. I just need that out of the way. I've got lots of Victorian Christmas cards and um, Christmas pause cards, so I'll be putting some of those in my Etsy shop. Right. So here is the a dry one of those that I've just done. Now I've done these to two and a half inches to fit my um oh cutter. Sorry, my dog's in here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My I don't know where my cutter is. It can't have gone very far. It's gotta be here. Oh it's here. This one is by Woodwork Craft Collection and it does two and a half, two inch and one and a half inch. A little money spider. I must be coming into some wealth at some point. So, let's get my cutter and let's move that. Fasten up that. So I'm going to go to two and a half inches, two and a half. Once you start and cut these up, I quite like to see which bits, which bits you get and which, which parts go on to each tag. Two and a, two and a half inches. I'm trying to get my head around working in inches. I mean, they're very pretty as they are. And with the glossy mob podge, there, they look lovely. Right, now this one, I'm going to go from this side. Let's get two and a half. Cut there. And I've just got that little piece there left. So I will just put that to one side to use for something else. So basically, all you do is pop... That. These are well worth it. was a little bit expensive, but certainly worth investing in. Put that in at your two and a half inches, press down, and there you get your shape of your tag cut out ready. See that? I'll just punch them all, but I'm just going to work on one of them. I mustn't have punched that one in enough because it's still flat, but it looks okay. Looks good. There we go. Super. And the bits that are cut off, I'll hang on to these. I might do some more, some master boards with those. So there's my three. And I'm going to work on do 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 they're all lovely aren't they i'm gonna work on this one the first one i did so what i did next was i got my um stencil now for this one it, as you can see the circles so it was a little circle template little circle stencil sorry this time I'm, i want to use the musical notes so, oh, first of all, sorry, I got my archival ink and this is a Christmas script and I just did a few little, not lots, just a few. 
I was inspired by Tina. Uh, is it Tina? Shabby dabby doo da. She. It wasn't actually Christmas tags she was making. It was some fl floral tags. But I thought, hmm, you could do that for Christmas as well. Right. So then I got my texture paste. That's why I, do, I had a sniff. I'm a very sniffy person. And um, I don't like the smell of this. Don't like the smell. So you put your stencil on. In fact, we'll have a little bit of uh, music and a little bit of writing down at the bottom. And then, like any other texture paste, you just pop it on. I like to use one of these palette knives. I've only got one. I know, poor me. But that's all I need. And then when you take that off, it's it's white. Whoa, it's white, but I promise you that it will dry clear. I'll just put it to one side and we can come back to it. Uh, let's just wipe up. Now what I did to get the pink, uh, the green, let me just get a piece of scrap paper. So you can actually see the colour. So I put some texture paste out the lid on that and I spread some green this is some rustic green glimmer mist spread it together till I came up with a green Green. And I like this one because it does remind me of like the dark pine trees that we get in this country. But then I got some uh, the rock distress rock candy, and I put that in as well. So this is very similar to glitter glass, and I put that in, and I mixed that in there as well. And that actually thickened it up from being sprayed with the mist. It gives it a bit of texture. So then, let's get my next one. I'll take this one. So once again, just put your stencil over where you want it to go. Get your paste and just paste over. This one's more gritty because of the uh, rock candy. But I love how it dries clear. I have got some little palettes, but it's um, not to hand. I should have got it out before. There we go. And that, put that to wash, take that to be washed. And this, see it there, will dry like, might not be as dark as that one, but it will dry like that. Right, let's just, uh, in fact, there's a bit on, a bit left there. I'm gonna put some of this on here. It's not where it's not wanting that. Be a bit more frugal with it. There we go. Beautiful. I forgot to stamp on it. Give me neck. I forgot to stamp on the other. Just put some bits on. I hate stamping, so stamping isn't something that just comes naturally to me. Something that if I didn't have to do it, I wouldn't do. Because I always consider that I'm not a very good stamper. 
You only want bits on around the edge, so. I could have waited till it was dry, I suppose. That's that one. And this one. There we go. Righty. Yeah, you just want bits, bits around the edge. I better give that stamp a wash as well. Put it in my little washing pail. Get my baby wipe. Normally, I make my tags end up really thick and bulky because I put loads of like mixed media on. So it's uh, unusual for me to have thin tags. Right, so here are my other two tags. Those are drying nicely. Right, so I'm going to put this on there and I like our memories. So, first of all, I've got my uh, gilding polish. There's rub and buff. It's the same sort of thing. This is by um, blah, 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 blah. Cosmic Shimmer. I'm just going to go around the edge with the gold gilding buff. Be very opulent because it's uh, Christmas time. Do that one. That looks nice. And this, I must say to everybody, thanks for the well wishes um, from my recent stint in hospital. It was nice. Had so many people just have either commented or sent me messages just saying they hope I'm soon feeling better I am feeling better but I'm just it's just like a run of bad luck and it's it's like never ending you know when just one thing leads to another so that's oh, that's one there never mind that's that one this one just go around the edge of this one These had gilded some circles on as well through the uh, stencil just to see what that looked like. That was quite nice on there. You can see the gold, golden circles. Let's just do the back. Of this out as well. This um, this one is pearl lustre. It's a nice colour, and I've not used them in ages. And I was thinking, oh, they're going to be all right, and they are, which is always good. Right, I'm going to take that. Off. Nope. Right. A bit heavy handed. Right, so I have got my handy dandy little jar of uh, these strengtheners and string. So let's just get a little bit of glue and glue these on. gold off my fingers that's nice two it's really nice on there I do like how the gold's gone on that one if you can get some more of my finger onto there yeah 
this. And then this is one. That's one. And two. I'm not going to use string on these. Let's put that back. So any um, tags that I have and things and I don't use the little strengtheners. See, I like these because I like vintage style strengtheners. I put in this little little jar, which I just have here. Right, so there's my two tags, gilded and ooh, ready to decorate. For them. I mean, they do look nice enough, just just like that. That looks very pretty as it is. But I'm going to put these on. My word, memories. This I've got my jar of bits and bobs, and just out the top, I saw this this peeping at me. So I do believe that this this is some vintage trim would go very very nice just down the edge there and then put that on yeah so i'm going to do uh, this trim is one that unravels itself you know when you cut it it just like bing 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 so i'm going to put a bit of glue on the you see it's starting to unravel itself i'm going to put some glue on that I'm going to stick that down. And then just cut that off. Well, my friend is in Rhodes at the moment, where all the wildfires are. I mean, you know, in Europe, we don't really get wildfires. I certainly got them this year. So yeah, she's in uh not stuck on there. She's in she's in Rhodes, so I contacted my other friend and said like, Oh, how is she? Is she alright? Is she safe? Anyway, apparently she's not on the side where the wildfires are, she's on the other side. However, you know, people are being evacuated across to her side and then being evacuated off the island as well. So, poor Greece, but not only roads today, but Corfu and, oh, and another one of the Greek islands. I don't know what's happening. Well, it's climate change, isn't it? We're getting terrible uh, extremes of temperature, hotter Europe than it's ever been and co colder as well. Right, in winter time. Right, there we go. Very nice. Right, let's get my distress ink. Got some, I'll use this green. What's your tail? I'll oh, just get a sponge. Where's my little, my little square that we're using on the green before I use this one? Right, I just want to go around the edge of this just to take off, you know, the white. Just to cover the white bits so you don't get that white edge. Yeah, wildfires. And... I mean, it's been going up to like 50, 50 degrees in Italy. What's that all about? It's really worrying. <clears throat> it's just good old blight here that I mean we had a week when we got temperatures over 30. And that was bad enough. Because we don't normally get see that sort of weather. Right, I'm just gonna that on there. Bubbly. That's pretty. As 
position it up using my eyes. And then I've got some coffee stained fabric here. Let's just uh, tear a bit off. Put memories on there. Put that on there. Let's just shape this a bit better. I do like that torn look, don't you? Put some glue across the bottom. There we go. And a little tab. Just go around the edge for white bits. My daughter, uh, my daughter from Durham is down for a week. She's cooking our evening meal tonight, so I'm looking forward to that. Her and her hubby eat like amazingly healthy food, amazingly healthy. But she, let's make that a bit thinner. She cooks. She'd be cooking us. That's what she'll be cooking for us tonight. Something really, really healthy, which will be very very nice there we go there's that one memories and i've got this green you know those rugs that you get that what do they call them chinese uh, indian rugs that are like recycled fabric and they're all rolled up like this and then strung together all the different colors this is from one of those rugs but it's a nice shade of green so is it a chindy rug? I think it is. Just sent one to my pal. Oh, I must have gone weak. My pal Sabine in Germany. I've just sent her a chindy rug. Because she hadn't heard of them, I said, well, have great fun. Um, Cutting it up, taking it apart and seeing what lovely Indian fabric you get. Right, let's try again. There we go. So, let's do a couple of lengths of it. If you've not taken a chindy oh, rubbish, if you've not taken a chindy rug apart, oh, we need to have a go. Right, stick. There we go. Not that one. Here. Find the middle. Push it through. And keep it through. There we go. Take that through there. Through the two of them. Come on, fingers and thumbs. Come on, fingers. There we go, through, through. I guess I like that on there. You could always just tatty it down a bit more if you wanted to, I suppose. Maybe if you wanted to cut these a bit. Oh. A bit more. Showing you we should not have started something. Whoops, oh well, no, that's not a good idea. Right, there we go, there's the old uh, tag. Just gonna cut that one down a bit, it's a bit long. So there's the tag, there's the um, 
words and then lace. And that's really pretty. What do you think? I like that one. So let's just put that to one side. Right, let's do this. Oh, let's have a look at the back of it. So the back of it, I'm going to put some green on it as well. Just to like vintage it up. I'm going to go all like over the back. Just lightly. Just two. Well, I'm a grunge girl, aren't I? So there we go. That's nice. So there's the back. And there's the front. I don't know if this memories is just a bit too big. I think it is. I'm just going to cut it down a little bit. Oh, that looks better. That's better. All right, fuss apart me. So that's that one. And this one, we'll do the same. We will get our... I've been waiting to cut that bit off until I used it because it was so delicate. I'm not going to cut all this blue off. Some people do. I don't because I'm not the world's best cutter and then I end up cutting it and losing, losing the effect. So that's there. Let's put some blue on the back. My mum had been making a lace journal with her and she was hand stitching everything on and I said, come on, that little tiny individual flowers and things. I said, come on, let's just just have a go with this fabric tack. Oh, she said, you know, I wasn't trained to do that. I was trained to hand stitch it all on. And anyway, she did. She used the fabric tack and she was like, she was amazed. Amazed. <laughs> Make them laugh when they won't. I'm going to use this actually. I'm going to use this as the background for my word. These fibres. These fibres were off that piece of fabric from the bin. bin what's the rug? The rug. The rug. The Indian rug. And they just so happen to be perfect colours to go on there. It's one of the reasons you put your stamp in around the edge of the um, picture because, around the edge of your tag because um, most things get covered up. But I still say how important it is to get every layer beautiful. Because you can tell, you can just tell when you... When you look at it, they're bit, you know, there's an eye for detail at every level. So many people say, why do you put such nice things on all your layers? Oh, that looks nice on there. Maybe that. Get my lid before it all volcanically erupts out of the top. You know what I mean. So that's that one with the seeds, fluffy seasons greetings. Let's just have a look at the back. Let's get the green. Yes, I'm a girl who likes her threads. I'm a sewing group. I'm in. Uh, I was on a sewing stitching day the other Saturday, and as they're cutting all the bits off the work. And they're collecting it all, putting it in the little jar. And they're like, what, what are you, why are you saving those? So, because these are very important. Very important. 
future sewing projects. That's nice. I do like. I like that under there. Right. And then let's get some more of this. Oh, oh it's here. I'm looking for the piece of cotton. It's like right under my nose. I'm going to tie this on differently. I'm just going to pork it through. This one I'll just tie. These haven't dried yet. I'll keep looking at them at the side of me. They do take a few hours to dry. Um, but I can show you on my next video anyway. There we go. So I'm going to make some more of these. This is my um, Christmas in July project. That's from July, that's nearly August project. So there we go. What do you think? Do you like them? I do. See, it's not dried yet, but as you can see, it is starting to dry clear. And you can make out the musical notes and the writing. It's that one. And the green. It's not dry yet. You can see the writing. I do like the green. You can see the uh, rock candy in there as well. When these are dry, I'll just stitch, stitch around the edges of them. You don't need to stitch, but I'm going to do. They're pretty and lovely colours like peaches and greens. So there we go. That's two of my two tags. My first two tags ready. Ready. Thank you for watching. So you've been watching Be Divine Vintage and I'm Sharon. Grumpy Sharon at the moment. But getting there. And um, thank you so much. And I will see you again. Oh, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button. I'd love uh, to see you again. Thank you. Bye bye.